Why, hello there, everyone. During my last live stream, the final character to be revealed for King of Fighters 15 got her trailer. Unsurprisingly, it is Elizabeth, as the data mine indicated. And I'm not familiar with this character at all. I know she was in 13. Uh, I think she debuted in 12, and then they reused her sprites to put her in 13. Correct me if I'm wrong, but my point is I think she's one of the newer characters. Uh, but this is the final KOF 15 trailer, so even if it's a character I'm not familiar with, I have to watch it, right? And give my very uh, limited perspective on what kind of fighting game character this looks like. So let's watch it. Elizabeth so I don't think this is much of a redesign. I haven't really looked at her a lot because like I said, I haven't, I don't play her at all. Uh, but from what I remember, this is pretty much how she looks. So whether this is a redesign or not, this pretty much looks the same, at least in terms of the main things. This is a very good looking 3D model. I have to watch this again. Elizabeth Blantorch. Blantorch. Oh, that's how I would have said it, too. Okay. Okay, so what kind of character is this? Let's see if I can figure out what kind of character this is just from this trailer. That was a grounded button, right? Yeah, she's on the ground. Okay, that's a cross-up, maybe. A little hard to tell. It's hard to tell if she's going to end up on the other side or not. Eh, I don't think she was here, but it looks like you could pro you could possibly make that a cross-up. Uh, pretty good, uh, button. Oh, that's the, uh... Not Shatter Strike, but the one that knocks them away. Grab animation. Ash's hands are still monstrously huge. I don't know why, but for some reason on him, like his giant hands just look way more exaggerated than anyone else in the cutscenes. He looks fine in gameplay, but the cutscenes, his hands look giant. Maybe it's like the weird bell-bottom sleeves exaggerating it more than the other characters, because I don't think that they're literally bigger than other characters' hands. <laughs> Let me see that again. Some kind of zoning. Uh, looks like it probably goes through projectiles, maybe low profiles, certain moves as well. Uh, like I'm trying to figure out what the theme here is because uh, she rides horses, right? That's why she dresses like that. She rides English. How are they going? How do they translate that into a, a move set, though? I'm surprised she's not the one with the whip, right? There's another character, Whip, that has the whip. Oh, okay. That looks like some kind of guard cancel, but that doesn't. I don't think that's a universal guard cancel because KOF 15 does have guard canceling. Oh, by the way, I somehow missed that. Some kind of projectile deflection. Any kind of anti-zoning, I automatically like. Yeah, so this does not look like the universal guard block you can do in the game. This looks like something unique to her. That's a pretty cool effect as well. I haven't seen any other effects like this. This looks entirely unique to her. Like this weird, like, light bending. Okay. I wonder if you can actually punish that, or if it's just... Uh, giving you some kind of advantage. No, nah, that looks totally punishable. So maybe certain moves, maybe uh, certain moves against her that maybe like for some characters, moves that they have that are normally safe aren't necessarily safe against her. If she's able to pretty much make any kind of their, uh, any kind of their attacks uh, automatically unsafe on block if she can do that. I would assume that there are still some moves that are safe against that because otherwise that would just be OP. This is, uh, one of the meter moves. Another one. 
Oh, that looks funny. That looks like some kind of like Marvel versus Capcom aerial combo thing, even though I know it's still part of the same move. Just her going straight up like that. I don't know. I'm curious if you would combo after this. It looks like you definitely land significantly earlier than the opponent here, so maybe you could catch them with some kind of low kick or something. That would be cool. Yeah, because this isn't the climax, right? This is just one of the supers. Right? That's what they're calling KOF. It's like the super, the other super, and then the climax super. The KOF 15 terminology is so weird, at least compared to other fighting game terminology I'm used to. Yeah, so that's one. Oh, that's a new stage. I don't think I've seen this stage before. Hang on. I'm going to watch this twice because I want to look at the stage in one go, and then I want to look at the actual uh, characters in the other go. I'm just looking at the stage right now. It's pretty nice. It's kind of uh, sort of warm lighting. Uh, definitely uh, some good variety compared to the other stages, right? Okay, let me actually watch the gameplay now. Okay, that looked like some kind of standard combo there. Yeah, like a crouching kick, standing kick, that might be a proximity thing. Uh, does she cancel that into... That looks like a special cancel. I'm assuming that special move is what we saw earlier in which she sort of disappears in low profiles, potentially. That probably has some cool uh, corner combo potential because as you, as you saw, it launched him up kind of high. Uh, but from mid-screen, it pushes him far away. But I bet if you were in the corner, you'd be able to uh, juggle Andy since he can't get pushed away from you in the corner, right? That looked like a proximity normal. Man, moves in KOF... It uh, moves in KOF 15 are so fast, like, it- that makes it so hard to hit confirm things. Like, look at that. Yeah, that might be a proximity normal into a special. I don't know, that- maybe that's a command normal. Into another potential special or command normal. Maybe heavy kick, command normal, question mark, special move. I wonder if that's her DP, even though it does move her forward a bit. Oh, so you can actually combo from that, not even just only in the corner, but from mid-screen as well. I bet there's I bet there's some extra stuff you can do with that in the corner, though. Uh, so it looks like that's comboing into itself. Are either of these EX'd? Because I know uh, Shune, when I was playing Shune, I was able to combo his DP into his DP if you used an EX. Oh, that's not an EX. So you can do it twice, normal, and then you can combo... Into it a third time if you use EX, apparently. That's cool. Kind of funny. Oh, you can keep juggling them. Hey, okay, wait, what did the... Okay, so it looks like the EX version watches them straight up and it has them fall straight down. So the EX version gives you more combo, ab combo ability afterwards. Uh, that first normal looked like a proximity normal. That proximity normal... Command normal, special, that was an EX, so he should be falling straight down. Yep, okay, she's comboing into super. Into the others, uh, was that the one super or two? Not that it matters much. Yeah, okay, into the one super. What was that? She used an EX version of something. It looks like, this looks like the move that she used to block cancel. But she used the EX version, so maybe you need the EX version to have it work against projectiles? I don't know, maybe the EX version is just faster. Pretty standard combo. Max mode version, oh so this must be a max mode combo, short hop. Okay, yeah, she, this is basically the same kind of strings we've seen, or the same kind of routes we've seen. They're just kind of putting it all together now. Hey, look, they're getting it in the corner. Into the climax? 
A bow. I guess that makes sense too, right? Horseback archery. I don't know if that's why it's included here. I could see that being the case though. It actually shows it go through his body. I thought they were going to do some sort of like implied violence thing by not having it actually show what happens here. Like it just blacks out right before it hits him, but it actually goes straight through and turns into a bird. <laughs> That's a pretty cool super. Uh, I don't really know if she would neatly fit into one kind of archetype or not. I don't know if she would neatly fit into one archetype or not. She kind of seems like sort of a jack-of-all-trades character. Uh, the I think the main thing is that she's able to block cancel. It's either like some kind of block cancel or some kind of counter stance or something, right? And she also has that special where she uh, turns invisible and maybe low profile. So she seems like she has some good anti-zoning potential. Uh, in which case, I like that because any kind of anti-zoning I automatically like. Uh, but now that this character has been revealed i think that makes officially 39 characters for the base roster of kof 15 that is incredibly good especially as of late lately a lot of new fighting games they just really have not launched with that many characters obviously super smash brothers ultimate has a ton of characters but that's a really weird anomaly plus it's not even like a traditional fighting game uh, I think Soul Calibur started with like 20 something and that's the main fighting game that I uh, like got into uh, that's th that's the first fighting game that I seriously got into competitively so I kind of use the Soul Calibur starting roster as sort of uh, the standard in my opinion obviously that's going to vary from person to person but like Guilty Gear Strive only launched with 15 characters sorry I hit the mic other people were okay with that but 15 is not very many at all in my opinion uh, but 39 that's so good uh, like, it's been a while since a new fighting game a new traditional fighting game has launched with that many characters so i think that uh i think the team that i want to uh, initially start playing with is uh Shermie. i've already played her in one of the beta tests i know i like her uh clark i've played clark's uh combo trials in kof 13 plus he's like the premier grappler so i'm probably going to stick with him and uh, so in addition to Shermie and Clark, I think I would like to try out King of Dinosaurs. However, I've heard that he's very weird and unorthodox and hard to play. So uh, that kind of makes me want to play him more, but I need to keep that in mind. So like if he's super hard to play, I need to make sure that doesn't, you know, turn me off from playing him. Uh, but anyways, now that all the character trailers have been revealed, let me know in the comments who you plan on playing on day one if you're getting the game. Uh... Let me know what your day one team is going to be, like the main team you're going to try learning initially. Uh, and with all that said, I will see you guys later. So bye for now.